Two Russian oligarchs were found dead this week alongside their family in luxurious homes in Russia and Spain, with the two cases discovered within 24 hours of each other. Both deaths are believed by police to be cases of murder-suicide, but the evidence supporting these theories is muddled by the fact that the events happened so close together. Ever since Vladimir Putin sent his troop to Ukraine, many Russian oligarchs has been dying left and right. We're not saying that Putin got them killed, it's just that the circumstances of their deaths are always the same. One of the famous case is the death of Sergei Protasenia, the former top manager of Russia's energy giant. The body of Sergei Protasenia was found together with his wife and daughter in a rented villa in Spain, where the family was reportedly on holiday for Easter. Spanish media reported that the 55-year-old millionaire was found hanged in the garden of the villa in Loret de Mar by Catalonian police, while his wife and daughter were found in their beds with stab wounds on their bodies. Police are investigating two possible scenarios. Either the Russian oligarch killed his wife and daughter and then hanged himself, or that the entire family was murdered and the crime scene was later staged to appear like a murder-suicide. The Protasenia family mainly lived in France, and his energy business is the second largest company in Russia, which involved in the production of natural gas. There are a lot of suspicion that Putin started removing the oligarchs that are against his war, or oligarchs that try to run away with their money. Putin's regime could be making an intense internal cleansing to ensure that the regime will stay loyal to Putin despite the harsh sanction from Western countries like the United States. Putin wants to be in total control of Russia's elite since they are the lifeline of their country right now.